Nay, not if we have anything to say about it. <laughs> Hello there, Green Crow. I do hope you've been well. The noble figures you see before you today are a product of the resolve you displayed during the Civil War. We found our path, and we intend to travel it to its end. You, however, would do well to flee this place. We'll take it from here, Instructor Reen. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not! The little branch campus darlings and I won't let a single one of these boorish soldiers through. Forget them. We're your opponents now. Hmm. To witness the spear-fighting techniques of the Florald family is an honor much sought after. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> it isn't often I find an opportunity to truly exert myself. It certainly has been a while, hasn't it, Class 7? I'm quite impressed, everyone. You were able to make it through the Imperial Defense Force. But despite the unlikelihood of it all, Major Revelt accounted for this. She knew you'd break through. Some way or another.
Allow us to relieve you of that misguided pride of yours. My salutation, Swarzer. I like your new look. I had an inkling you'd make it back to us safely. And with armbrust at your side, no less. If I didn't know better, I think you've curried some sort of favor with the goddess herself. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, we'll have to table that discussion for the time being. Her Highness and Herschel are being held in the banquet hall. You must make haste. You leave these scoundrels to us. My brother and the others should be catching up soon. Dean! Of course. I had a feeling you'd show up. <laughs> Toa! Your Highness! Class 7! Thank goodness! It seems we've made it in time. Reen, you're okay. And everyone else too, and... And... Sup, Toa. How's life been treating you? Me? Well, 
you know how it is. Anyway, looks like I'm back with the gang now. Crow? I... I can't believe it! It's really you! Wait, Rain? What happened to your hair? Oh, what am I saying? What matters is that you're all right! I felt this odd sensation earlier, like I was connecting with you somehow. I thought maybe it was just my imagination. It wasn't. You may not have realized it, but you were there for me when I needed it most. I'll explain everything later, after we get both of you out of here. Oh? Didn't anyone ever tell you it was rude to make plans without a lady's consent? <sighs> Not as rude as taking them captive, wouldn't you say, Jellica? Or... Would you prefer I call you Red Rosevice? <laughs> that is indeed who I am now. And you are the one they once called Siegfried, no? Your sweet nothings won't work on me. But I do appreciate you bringing that delicious little duchess along with you. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> she still acts like the same old Angelica. That's gonna make this tough. That's right. I was talking to her earlier and she acts more or less the same. Oh, don't you worry, my dear little fawn. After this, we can talk through the night. Just the two of us. Oh, come on, Angie! I know it's you! <laughs> it has been far too long, Class 7. You've done well to make it here. You, especially, Machias. Though it seems you're well in excess of your jurisdiction as a member of the Inspectorate. Yes, I'm well aware. But, as a member of the Inspectorate, there are still certain legal channels I can follow in an emergency situation. You hold here against their will a civilian, Toa Herschel, and the Empress of Erebonia herself. I'd say a situation like that more than warrants a full and comprehensive inspection. Surely you understand as much yourself, Karl Regnitz. So why? Even if not by your own hand, your compliance belies your guilt. The Karl Regnitz I know would never just blindly obey the government's whims without even so much as a- It is precisely because he refused to comply that Governor Regnitz was transferred here to Ordis. No way. Major Reveld. I'm sure I'm the last person you want to have explaining this to you, but... Governor Regnitz has been vocally opposed to the war since the Great Twilight's inception after which he led an official protest of the National Mobilization Law at City Hall. In fact, he even went so far as to claim that the Republic played no part in the assassination attempt whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> but in the end, no matter how hard he tried to expose the facts, that truth fell on deaf ears. His supporters experienced sudden changes of heart or were lost to inexplicable misconceptions. Others still ended up hospitalized, having fallen prey to sudden accidents. Not one of these was the Intelligence Division's handiwork. Each and every account seemed nothing more than pure coincidence. But... that means... it can only be... The Great Twilight. The greatest curse ever known. A force that can bend even fate itself to its will. <laughs> You've all noticed, right? How strange everyone started acting all over the Empire? But beyond the obvious is some invisible force, subtly twisting the Empire onto a path of destruction. Its effects have become most apparent in the army, as well as the government. So, it's gotten that bad, huh? Dad, is this true? I cannot say either way. All I've done is acted in accordance with my own convictions. Should I find my efforts have backfired, it can only point to my own failings as a politician. Under the National Mobilization Law, the Imperial government temporarily absorbed all administrative authority over Heimdall. As such, I've been sent all the way out here to oversee Ordis. Everything happening now is because I simply wasn't capable enough. 
Governor Regnitz. So the curse forced this fate on you before you knew it. Wielding political authority means accepting the facts, and the consequences that stem from them. And the fact of the matter is that the city of Ortis, including this estate, is under my jurisdiction for the time being. Therefore, you'll have to convince me, under pretense of your inspection, that you are qualified to take custody of my two charges. That way, neither of us will be abandoning our duties. Dad... You're really... So that was your plan all along, huh? The Governor's obligations and opinions are in no way the same as mine. Further, custody of Miss Herschel and the Empress is the Imperial Defense Force's duty. However, all of Class Seven are fugitives by law. Restraining you is my responsibility as a member of the RMP, my duty as an officer. But more than that, it's my role as an Ironblood, as a vessel for this terrible curse. <laughs> Just like we saw in the Grawl, that glyph was in Milliam's eyes too. This is the power granted to us by Chancellor Osborne, the mark of the Iron Blood. It allows us to draw power from the energy of the Great Twilight itself. But its effect goes beyond merely boosting our battle capabilities. The Governor's failings, Operation Birdcage, all such events were brought forth by this power of ours. I, you mean... That's how you carried out Operation Birdcage? The SSS. Yin, the Divine Blade of Wind, all of them are skilled fighters in their own right. No matter how numerous my forces or how adept my command, do you really think I'd have even the slightest chance of cornering them if I didn't have this power? <sighs> I thought it was strange. Back then, even I wasn't fully aware of it. But now, I can harness its energy at will. And with its aid, I can easily stop you in your tracks. Class 7, I hereby place you all under arrest. You may attempt to carry out your inspection if you so please. You're free to take Ms. Herschel and the Empress with you and go. In the unlikely event, you're able to kill me. Oh, what a pitiable yet captivating spectacle. Like a glacier she stands, solid and steadfast, Yet her heart lies frozen by sorrow, mesmerizing in her frailty, apt as all ice is to shatter at a moment's touch. <laughs> what would you know about me, Roseweiss? Your memories have been wiped clear. Perhaps so, but through a beautiful damsel's eyes lie the depths of her soul. It makes my chest tighten to see her. The icy maiden within you melting into tears. I... Major Claire. <sighs> <laughs> Even without her memories, Jellica hasn't lost her touch. Major Claire, I was told Major Lecter said something when he fought the others, not too long ago. He mentioned the grief and guilt he felt after losing Milliam, and how the two of you would put things right. I... Back in Crossbell. <sighs> a moment ago, you said we'd need to kill you to rescue Toa and the Empress. The only thing that tells me is that you're all too willing to die. It's just as Rosevice said. It hurts my heart to see you acting so pathetic. <sighs> Milliam didn't sacrifice herself so you could use her as an excuse. Fight for yourself. For your own reasons. Even if you have the power of the Great Twilight on your side, I don't intend to lose. Not to this melting imitation of the Icy Maiden. Huh? Whoa, not bad. You actually got through to her. Such a dastardly way with words you have, Instructor. <laughs> what a cheesy-ass speech. Even Milliam would not recognize what you've become. And so, the indomitable ice cracks.
but like a knight upon her shining steed. I shall come to all these fair maidens' aid. You've got some nerve calling yourself a knight in front of me. <sighs> Very well. I will use Milium as an excuse no longer. I am a member of the Ironbloods and an officer of the RMP. As such, I will use whatever force necessary to apprehend you. Come at us, then! Your Highness, Miss Herschel, please keep a safe distance. Understood. Reen! Crow! You can do it! The flames of passion. It's no wonder at all you were able to melt through... Crow? G G george Wait. The hell? That was her, right? The real her? Those damn masks. Jellica! Hey! Angelica Rogner! Snap out of it already! A Angelica? That's wrong. It's nothing more than a part you were made to play. Find yourself, Angelica! You need to break free! You can do it, Angie! Please, come back to us! <gasps> Angelica! Angie, are you okay? <laughs> I'm not sure, Toa. I think I might need you to give me another little squeeze. It was so hard to see that adorable face of yours through that mask. I'll need to get a nice long look now that I can see clearly again. Jellica, it's you. You got your memories back. Angie! <laughs> Thank Idios. Thank the goddess you're yourself again. You have no clue how worried I was. Ever since you disappeared, I... I... <laughs> Maybe I should disappear more often. Mm, how could I ever have forgotten this lovely scent? It felt like I was living a nightmare. But I guess I must have died and gotten to heaven in the arms of an angel. Oh yeah, she's back all right. I'm glad to see there were no lasting effects on her personality or memories. It seems it was the mask itself that was forcing her to play the role. Sure wasn't like that for me. Heh, <laughs> guess old George didn't follow through. Perhaps he simply couldn't bring himself to. But then again, maybe I'm no different. Major Claire, do you still intend to fight? Without our Iron Horsemen, I stand at a disadvantage. Unfortunately. It would seem I have failed in my mission. <sighs> Major Revelt. Then I take it you're just about finishing up here. Huh? General. For those of you, with whom I am yet unacquainted, allow me to introduce myself. Zex Vander, General of the 3rd Armored Division. Schwarzer, Class 7, I do hope you've been well. It's been a while. Congratulations on your promotion. What? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be stationed at the Naval Fortress. What? You here to arrest us? Doesn't seem like it. Very sharp. As a matter of fact, I'm here to investigate the situation. The Heimdall military police are starting to chatter about some trouble at the Cayenne Estate. I apologize for the disturbance, General. It was under my personal command that the situation fell out of control. I will have all units within the estate withdraw immediately and give the order for the Imperial Defense Force to return to base. Forgive me, but may I leave the rest to you? You may. Major Claire. So you're gonna let us off the hook for now? 
With war on the horizon, the last thing we want is news of a domestic dispute to surface. As it stands, only the RMP, IDF, and Intelligence Division have orders to apprehend you. Maneuvering around those groups will be your only hope going forward. Are you... <laughs> sure you should be giving us tips like that, Icy Maiden? More a word of warning, I assure you. I will not be so charitable next we meet. Governor Regnitz, I apologize for the disruption. Your Highness, Toa, my sincerest apologies for inconveniencing you. Angelica, I'm glad you were able to recover your memories. And Reen, I just wanted to say how happy I... No, pardon me. Major Claire. <sighs> Poor gal. It's clear she's burying her feelings. Indeed, so deep that the pressure may very well crush her in the end. <sighs> there has to be something we can do. No. We'll find a way. I appreciate you coming all this way for my sake, but as it stands, I must remain here. Were the Empress to go missing now, this nation's people would be thrown needlessly into chaos, making matters all the more difficult for you, no doubt. As I said, it would only cause more trouble than necessary. Even now, we know nothing of Alfin's whereabouts. And right this second, on the other side of the country, the Emperor continues to fight for his life. Do not fret so. Major Claire has already told me the truth of the matter. I understand that it was the Empire's curse that coerced you into shooting the Emperor, not your own will. In that sense, a share of the blame lies with the Imperial family as well. Perhaps what happened to Oliver was our punishment, though I curse the very thought. Worse still, our young Cedric now stands at the side of the very man who plotted Oliver's downfall. I deeply sympathize with you, Your Highness. Prince Oliver met with a most cruel and undeserved fate. We must keep hope that His Majesty soon makes a full recovery. 
I will make certain to keep you updated on his condition. You have my thanks, Governor Regnitz. Now go, Class 7. May Adios' grace be ever at your side. I leave Elise and Alfin's safe return in your capable hands.
Georg, it would seem you've missed her vitals. I've come up with a way to make use of her. Using the mask, we can gain ourselves a pretty handy pawn. Oh, is that so? Very well. Do as you wish. Withdraw immediately once you've collected your little puppet. This is where Angelica Rogner dies. If only for a time. Whether you wake from this nightmare is something only Adios can decide. Forgive me, Angie. Thank you. 